But where did the lion dance come from? There are religious mythologies associated with the origin of this divine dance form called Bharatanatyam, predominantly from the region of Greater India. Based on fiction and stories brought down from generations, the lion dance reached China during the period of the Han Dynasty, somewhere in the first century AD, probably through the Buddhist missionaries who traveled along the celebrated Silk Road. The lion entered China mostly in the form of images and motifs on art objects and textiles, but on occasions as items of trade or even as part of a tribute. The highly developed lion iconography and symbolism became established for its many things, kingly virtue, majesty, power, domain and nobility. The Confederation of Saping Lion Dance sent its descendants to Sharping on January 18, 2007 to establish the roots and origin of Grandmaster Lu. <laughs> Master Li Shi Quan has played an integral part in the development of the Confederation of Saping Lion Dance. He was aesthetic by the visit of the new descendants. A true Renaissance man, Grandmaster Lu was an anti-war activist in Singapore. He made a remarkable influence on his martial stride and wisdom by dedicating his life to martial arts and his family. He moved back to his hometown Xiaoping, China, upon reaching a determined age. Grandmaster Lu's surviving daughter, Miss Lu, led the team to her father's property. The home revealed the familiar details of what they believed to be left behind the way it was by the late master. We had the privilege of discovering a lion head which belonged to the late Grandmaster Lu. We came all the way from Malaysia and we are lucky that Master Wong helped us to arrange this meeting with Master Lee. On May the 1st, 2007, Master Xiao led disciples of the Confederation of Saping Lion Dance to Shaping, China, to pay their last respects to the late Grand Master Lu. Hoksan City, or the Crane Mountain, is located in Guangdong Province of China, at the riverside of Xingqiang, a most important waterway in the Pearl River Delta. We are now at Feng Tang village of Hoksan City in the Saping district, Guangdong province of China. Feng means abundance, Tang means lake. The true meaning of Feng Tang is a lake with abundance of life. This location marks the birth of the world-renowned Confederation of Saping Lion Dance. The origin of the lion dance is an obscure subject. There are so many legends and myths about it. Grandmaster Lu decided to unite all the followers under the Confederation of Saping Lion Dance. The various Confederation of Saping Lion Dance troops from all over the world came to pay their undivided respect, endless faith and devotion to the late Grandmaster Lu. This is my second trip to Saping. On the first trip, we came to look for our Grandmaster's grave. This trip, we, together with other Sifus and disciples, are here to pay our undivided respect to our Grandmaster. 
Today is a very momentous day. On this historic day, the followers came from all walks of life to gather here for divine worship as the disciples of the Saping generation. They reflect the multiracial character of their association, which binds them together in one common faith. Their camaraderie belongs to the federation of its association with the legendary Grand Master Lu. The name of their denomination indicates what they believe. It took us a very long time to locate our Grandmaster's grave. We are finally able to complete our aspiration by getting to pay our respect to Grandmaster. The weather today is superb. Lion dancing has long been associated with southern Chinese systems of Kung Fu. Today, the lion dance offers vigorous cardiovascular exercise as well as stance and weight training, all rolled up in one beautiful cultural tradition. Grandmaster Lu founded the Hoksan generation of Sa Ping lion dance in 1940, after arriving in the Republic of Singapore. This is the first lion head and it has become part of the cultural heritage in the Singapore Hock Sun Association. The origin of the Chinese lion troupe came to Singapore in the 19th century, taking 86 years to evolve into the Singapore Hock Sun Association, which was founded in the year 1952. When the Chinese lion troupe was reformed after World War II, Grand Master Lu took his role as the Grand National Instructor. One key goal he had was to train the next generation of pugilistic makers and leaders who will help raise the standard of policies. After becoming certified in 1992, Master Xiao Ho Pu spent two to three years as the instructor to trainees under Master Robin Chan, during which time he diversified its cultural influence into Malaysia. The love of the people of their culture is very, very much more important than government efforts. Government efforts is just only to give it a nudge. If people don't love their culture, their culture will not exist or their culture will not flourish. So that aspect, I must say, is very important. Each individual race has its own unique culture. Malaysia is a multiracial country with a population that practices various religions. As immigrants, the Chinese contributed their lives significantly to building the Chinese community in Malaysia, especially in the fields of politics, education and social welfare. Malaysia, the Chinese community, especially their love for lion dance is so strong that on their own initiative, a lot of initiative is through their own efforts. Then the government come in to complement those efforts. For a single race to be part of a country's multiracial society, it's not easy as everyone needs to compromise, to communicate, be tolerant and understanding of each other. Especially the leaders need to be very alert and efficient of their role. They have to understand the true meaning and value of the lion dance. More so, as recently the leaders have accepted that the lion dance performance and activities are a tourist attraction. It can help to boost the country's tourism. The most valuable recognition is that the lion dance from just an underground activity has now developed to be a recognized cultural and art performance. 
When foreigners speak of Malaysia, they identify it with the line dance. Finally, after 33 years of pain and hard work, our lion dance has progressed in leaps and bounds and gained worldwide recognition. Dotting the eyes is a ceremony carried out in temples to initiate the start of a lion dance performance, but does not have any religious significance. The Chinese believe the eye is the window of the soul. Tonight, we are at this function to celebrate Longsheng Lion and Dragon Association's fourth anniversary. We have many planned activities, including dotting the eyes ceremony of new lions and also launching of their new association flag. Also, we will have dragon dance performances and dotting the eyes ceremony of new dragons. People always ask why the Chinese perform this dotting the eyes ceremony. In Japanese and Western celebrations and launch events, it is their custom to perform the ribbon cutting ceremony. For the Chinese dragons and lions, we perform the dotting the eyes ceremony on new lion or dragon. This ceremony is normally done by whoever who donates and it is to give the art form, the dragon or the lion head, life. Swan Ni is a divine creature with features of a lion who inherited a liking for burning incense. The lion's image is the symbol of a ruler or a king. The lion, considered the king of beasts, symbolizes power and good fortune. The lion is therefore considered a sacred animal that possesses special protective powers to drive away evil. From legend stories, the lion is called Nian. The lion dance is the only art form which is performed to welcome in good fortune. The lion dance is very much loved by everyone of all ages, the old, the young and the children. When they start watching the lion dance, they will not budge but will see it through to the end. The meaning of Chai Ching symbolizes good fortune. According to ancient history, there is a second meaning to Chai Qing. Qing means the Qing dynasty and Chai means crush. Hence, Chai Qing means to crush the Qing dynasty. Today, there is another meaning for Chai, which is to pluck and Qing means good fortune. So Chai Qing means to pluck good fortune. Nowadays, Chinese New Year is celebrated with beating of drums, clash of cymbals, which creates a very happy and joyous occasion. It's like a source of positive energy to cast away the whole year's accumulated bad luck. When the lion comes to perform at a premise, it helps to rebuild good fortune, bring prosperity and attracts good income. This is very much a Chinese traditional belief. They invite the lions to perform the Chai Ching so that they pluck good fortune and attract prosperity. Running costs to sustain a lion dance association is high. Normally, during the Chinese New Year, all lion dance associations take the opportunity to make some income to cover their running costs as they will be invited to perform at houses and business premises. They will be given Ang Pao, which is red packet as a token payment. Lion Dance on Pole was first introduced in 1983 when we organized Malaysia's first Lion Dance on Pole competition. That was the birth of this new style of performance. In the early days, all the performances were on the ground with many skilled choreography and ground strategy. It gradually evolved to performance on tables, chairs and pots. During this evolution of ground performance, we came up with the idea to further improve the performances by expanding to performing on poles. The initial idea of dancing on poles seemed easy as we thought of it as many individual poles which were made of wood. However, when it came to fabricating them, it's not as simple as it seemed. We had to take into consideration the position, the distance, the weight, the height, 
and the base. We then invented our first generation high poles, consisting of five wooden poles, which we named the Meihua poles, which meant plum blossom poles. It was 33 inches in height, and after performing on it a few times, we found that with just five poles, it wasn't challenging enough. We gradually added more poles somewhere in the mid-1980s. In the history of lion dance, we were not very sure if it had been performed on high poles before. Everyone was informed that the story flow of the lion dance on pole performances is about the lion dancing on the seaside of a fishing village, where villagers hung a ching on a pole. The lion then tries to get the ching. However, the actual inspiration to perform on poles is the influence from Kung Fu novels and movies. We had to use our own creativity to fabricate the poles by coming up with new creations. Previously, the bases of the wooden poles were made from wooden fixtures, but we found it dangerous during performances. So we changed the base to iron fittings which turned out to be safer. The wooden pole is 8 inches in width, but 8 inches is difficult to stand on. So we added extra rubber pieces to make it wider and safer for the performers. Wooden poles have evolved to the iron poles as you see today, and the standard height is below 3 meters. In 1983, Master Xiao adapted a new practice where the lion dancers perform on poles. Many thought it was preposterous and were not supportive of it. This was not an easy task, but things took off for Master Xiao and his pride of innovative youngsters. Perseverance was the key. Today, the lion dancers artistically incorporate and bring out the characteristics of the lion in the action and movements, while dancing and jumping on stilts and poles. When we first started performing on poles, we felt pressured. After we got used to the pole, 